Welcome to the Draw Reveal on Bitsy 8. Continuing on this series, as we've been reviewing different concepts, we've looked at Avatar, the thing we move around, Tile, which can be the background or potentially a wall if we enable that, sprites and items, all part of the paint tool. We've also seen now across a couple of different videos how we can use rooms to divide up a story or game in a bunch of different parts. And then down here as part of the room tool, come down from paint over to exits and endings and connect those rooms together. And we can do one way exits or two way exits and move between rooms or move into a room and trap potentially someone there. What we've not talked about too much is the use of colors. And so this video is titled understanding colors. Before we can get to colors, we had to understand multiple concepts connected together. Part of this, as you may have noticed, is that the colors are shared across avatar, tile, sprite, item, and room. So we needed to cover all of those topics before we could get to colors because it affects all of those things in turn. So let's look at something a little bit interesting. I'm going to go over here to the room tool and I'm come down here instead of edit, I'm going to go over to colors and then notice it says a blueprint. And if I click the drop down, that's all it says. It just says blueprint right now. Now, if I move over to the colors tool, so let's move from rooms or the room tool to the, from the paint tool over to the colors tool and notice it has a title called blueprint. This is not a mistake. This is the current palette or selection of colors that we're using that apply to everything we have previously talked about. Room, avatar, tile, sprite, and item. In fact, notice this is background color, tile color, and sprite color. Now, if we shift this just a little bit, we'll notice all of these corresponding things also change. So now this is the background color, and that's the tile color, and that's the sprite color. Notice we only have three colors at a time, and the other thing to pay attention to is they apply on the room level. So a room contains avatar, tile, sprite, and items, and whatever the colors are, are at the room level and affecting everything within that room. So as we change this palette right here, it affects everything else. So let's kind of shift it back to where it was. So if it affects on a room level and we want new colors, then we have to create a new collection of colors, a new palette, and then in a different room, we can use those colors. So let's go ahead and follow something we've been doing across a number of videos. Anytime we want to create something new, we use either the two icons right here that we used for tile or we used for sprite. And we saw we can go previous, we can go next, and we can go add. So over here in the colors tool for the first time, let's go ahead and create a new palette. And notice it says palette one and it's given us some random colors. In fact, I don't mind those colors, although they are, they are a little bit much, but I think it's fun to use those. So let's just go ahead and use Palette 1 as the name. So we have Palette 1. So now with a new palette or new set of colors, if we come back over to the Room tool and we come down here, previously we said Blueprint, now potentially we can select Palette 1, but I don't want to do that yet. Because if we do, remember it affects the room, the avatar, tiles, sprites, and items. And that's a bit much, so I don't want to do it quite yet. Instead, what I want to do is I'm going to come over to the room tool right here, and I want to go ahead and create a new room. Now for this new room, I'm going to come down here and change its palette to the new palette set. Which again is a very bright, but it helps to show this difference here. And now I'm going to go ahead and come over to the paint tool with tile, come back over to edit over here in the room tool, because now we're going to edit this room instead of picking the colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some tiles down. Notice that it is the same shape, but different color palette. So color palettes per room affecting avatar, tile, sprite, and item. So that looks pretty good for just a start. So coming back over here to the room tool, let's go ahead and add some exits and endings. So what I want to do is go ahead and pop out that tool, exits and endings. Now I want to create a two-way exit between the first room and what is called room one, which is a little bit of a confusing name. So click add, just like we've been doing. I want to click exit, so defaults to two-way. I'm going to go ahead and click move. I'm going to move it over here. So notice it's lined up right here. We're going to go out of here and then we're going to come in over here. Let's move back to example room, click move, and then set it up here. 
So now we have an exit. We will leave, or a two-way exit, that is. We will leave example room and go into room one. So let's go ahead and play this as is, and I'm just going to go with the default game title. I'm not going to change it right now. So, okay, remember what, to move the avatar, we use the WASD keys or the arrow keys. Now I'm going to move to this up corner right here, which notice here, we've now shifted colors. We've shifted to a new color palette. So colors affect rooms and everything in that room, which includes avatar tiles, sprites, and items. And this is incredibly important. Notice we shift back that every time we move over that exit, we've now shifted to a new room and a new color palette. So colors are important, are important that is, because we have three of them, the background, the tile, and the sprite. If we move it over, let's go ahead and stop this, move over to colors tool, notice background, tile, and sprite. We can only have three colors at a time, and colors affect the entire room. So again, to reiterate something I've talked about in this video, we needed to understand avatar, the thing we move, tiles, potentially background, but could also be walls, sprites, things we interact with, and items, things we use, and rooms, which contain all of those things, before we could get to colors. Because as we've seen now as part of this video, colors affect an entire room. The background, the tile, and the sprayed colors are all affected based on the current palette that's selected for that room. So for our example room, if we come down to its colors, notice it has blueprint. We go over next to room one, its colors is palette one. So we can change colors as long as we keep in mind that we only have three and whatever palette we're currently chosen is infecting an entire room. And so at least right now, if we want to change to a completely new color palette, we have to change to a new room, which seems like a problem. But as we'll discuss in future videos, there are ways to get around this slightly, and we can play with what we're given within Bitsy to make things more advanced. But at least for this video, colors are tied to rooms, and so in order to get to colors, we had to talk about these other concepts first. But again, three colors as part of a palette on a per-room basis as part of Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.